Hotel Quarantine Exemptions kung interesado kang malaman, pag-usapan natin yan sa Kabayan Edition. Hello everyone! It's me again, Amira, and welcome back to Kabayan Edition. For today's video, pag-uusapan po natin yung kumakalat na balita tungkol sa exemptions ng hotel quarantine dito sa Qatar. Pero bago natin simulan ng lahat, please don't forget to click that like button and subscribe into my channel. And without further ado, let's get on to our video. Last April 7, nagkaroon po ng publishing ng news or naglabas ng news ang Qatar Peninsula, Qatar Tribune at Gulf Times regarding dun sa exceptional or exceptions ng hotel quarantine para sa mga taong um, nakatake na ng COVID-19 vaccine. Now, later on, it was mentioned that tinanggal ng MOPH yung advice or yung announcement nila with regards to that. So, itakal natin isa-isa. Yung una nilang inilabas na exemptions ng hotel quarantine involves dun sa mga tao na nakapag-take na ng COVID-19 vaccine which is first dose lang. In the beginning of April 7 announcement or yung advice nga, yung mga nakatake na ng COVID-19 vaccine first dose at nakalampas ng 14 days na after nung first dosage or first uh, vaccination, pwedeng makabalik ng Qatar and malalagay sa home quarantine. Now, nung mag-double check ako sa MOPH website, wala na yung information na yun. So, I'll flash this um, information on the screen para po maintindihan nyo and then i-discuss ko po sa inyo sunod-sunod kung ano yung nakalagay at available ngayon sa website. On the evening of April 7, tinanggal din ng MOPH yung kanilang advice sa kanilang website. I believe na nagkaroon ng alterations or revised yung uh, advice na ibinibigay nila para sa hotel quarantine. So what I did guys, pinalipas ko ang ilang araw at nag-check ulit ako sa website and these are the criteria for having or to be exempted for the hotel quarantine. First criteria, kailangan po yung vaccine na maititake ninyo ay approved ng MOPH dito sa Qatar. And those va vaccines are Pfizer or BioNTech vaccine, Moderna vaccine, AstraZeneca vaccine, Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Number two, a person must complete the dosage of the vaccine. For Johnson & Johnson vaccine, single dose lang po siya. And for the rest of the other vaccines, kailangan po ay two doses. Number three, kailangan po lumampas ng 14 days after nyo po ma-receive ang first dosage ng Johnson & Johnson vaccine and 14 days din para sa mga ibang vaccine after the second dose. Huwag po kayong malilito once again. 14 days after nyo pong matake ang Johnson & Johnson vaccine which is one dosage lang and for the other vaccine na kailangan po ay two dosage meaning 14 days po after nyo matake yung second dose ng ibang klaseng vaccine. Number four, you must present an official certificate or yung vaccination card na may laman ng mga information na to. First, yung person's name, kung ano po yung nasa official document nyo such as passport, QID, yun po dapat yung nakalagay sa vaccination card. Number two, yung date po ng receipt of dosage kung isang dosage lang. Once again, Johnson & Johnson vaccine lang po ang may one doses. Uh, one dose, I mean, I'm sorry. And yung other vaccines po have two doses. So, lahat po dapat ng date kung kailan po kayo na vaccine ay naka-indicate po sa inyong card. Number three, yung name po ng vaccine. Number four, serial number ng vaccine. And number five, yung official logo or the official seal of the vaccination facility. Criteria number five, you must present a negative test or COVID-free certificate. Pwede nyo po yan makuha dun sa mga accredited MOPH um, centers, MOPH accredited testing laboratories or testing centers sa Pilipinas. Or pwede rin naman pong sa port of entry, meaning pagdating nyo po dito sa Qatar. Now, kung ang gagamitin nyo po ay mag, yung inyong certificate coming from Philippines Testing Center, na once again, accredited po ng MOPH, it has to be valid 72 hours prior to your arrival. 
Yung Ehteras status nyo po ay mananatiling green kapag po na-meet nyo lahat ng criteria na nabanggit ko kanina para sa exemptions ng hotel quarantine. Now, don't be confused guys. Ito po ay for exemptions of hotel lang. It doesn't mean po na hindi kayo magpo-provide ng inyong exceptional entry permit or yung tinatawag natin na EE. Now, to avoid confusion and to be sure para po sa information, tumawag po ako sa Hukumi Hotline para i-verify kung tuloy pa rin ba ang cancellation ng hotel quarantine para sa mga taong nakatake na ng 2 doses ng COVID-19 vaccine. And as per them, lahat po na nakapag-take ng COVID-19 doses na nanggagaling po sa accredited centers ng MOPH ay magiging exempted sa hotel quarantine. But personally guys, I personally advise na since at this moment, meron po tayong strict precautionary measures and strict restrictions dito sa Qatar without clear um, date kung kailan matatapos, I suggest po na mag-check kayo parate sa mga website ng Qatar Ministries tulad ng MOPH, Civil Aviation, Government's Communications Office, and Ministry of Interior. Make sure to check nyo po lalong-lalo ng MOPH para sa travel guidelines or travel policies dito sa Qatar bago nyo po iset ang inyong travel date. Once again guys, uulitin ko lang po na meron ditong imposing of restrictions sa Qatar. Medyo mahigpit po ang restrictions natin ngayon. It's like the phase 4 of restrictions dito sa Qatar. So once again, I will advise each and one of you na mag-double check po kayo sa ministry's website bago po kayo magplano ng inyong mga flight. And for more information, don't forget to subscribe to my channel para po ma-update kayo. And that's it for today's video. Magkita-kita po tayo ulit sa kabayan.